four. See, dear students, I have been advocating that appearing in the exam is an art, and this psychological preparation actually helps you save the leakage of marks. Now you will be asking me, sir, how we are going to lose marks? Okay, let me tell you there is a secret recipe of disaster. <laughs> now, what are the ingredients of this nervousness mixed with irritation? So we need to know how to eliminate these two things, how to save ourselves from this disastrous recipe. Let us first talk about nervousness. The mistakes that we do on this very day, that is a day before the exam is, pick up a new topic, pick up a new mock test, pick up a past year paper, discuss some complex problems with friends. All these things are only going to add nervousness in your brain. Now, how does this nervousness work? See, when you uh, do exercise, you build on every day. So, you can see a significant change in your physique or your health, say after six months, right? Similarly, this nervousness starts building very, very slowly. You won't even realize that with every question that you are discussing, every another line that you are reading, you are slowly getting nervous on this last day. And there is no bell which rings, you know, and tells, oh, you are nervous by 90%. Nothing is going to happen like this, but it will keep on building up. Okay. Now, what happens during all this, you know, discussion, revision, you know, going through the books, you will start getting certain ads, maybe from your grandparents, your papa, your mummy, some teasing from your your siblings, or maybe some really nagging friends who are, you know, sending messages on WhatsApp saying, Bro, I am done, Mera to nahi hone wala hai. I am lost, I have just lost it, <laughs> right? On body pushing certain advice, Yaar, have you gone for that book? Wo wala test kar liya kya? Now, what happens is you are already nervous because you feel that there are certain things which you don't know, or you are taking more times to solve the numerical these things start irritating you. The advices maybe of your parents or maybe some neighbor irritating you. Now, these advices can be, why are you saying that? Why don't you revise a paper? Beta, you, you have studied a lot. Now, go to sleep. You don't want to sleep. Or maybe you should have a very good diet right now. Eat a lot. Somebody says, no, you better, you know, go and play out. So, there are many messages that we, some of them are really good, some of them might irritate you. In fact, it might be a possibility that all the advices that you are getting are very good actually, but because of this nervousness, this irritation builds up there to mix and you are ready to lose out marks tomorrow. Now, uh, I have been, you know, asked these questions by many a students like, Sir, uh, you know, people say that I should go to sleep, but the moment I close my eyes, physics, chemistry, mathematics, all things are roaming around in my head. Mujhe bas questions hi dekh rahe hote. Topics keep on coming and I'm just, you know, trying to recall, okay, I've done this, I've done this. I'm not able to sleep. What should I do? See, this nervousness, when it goes up to a level, now it starts building up the tension in your Tension in a way is good. your tense, it is a litmus test that yes, you have prepared well. See, there are two cases in which you will not be tense at all. First, you don't know anything. <laughs> he prepared. You are prepared and you are in 10 percent. Yes, you're gonna crack it. These are the cases. You will be you me, you will be tense only when you have prepared well. Okay. But because of this nervousness, irritation, this tension actually converts into stress. And because of the stress, are not to relax. Your body is trying to relax, but your mind is still working very hard. And then you say, sir, I am not able to sleep. So, dear student, you need to exercise your brain. 
do you relax your brain? Keep on telling yourself that, see, whatever I had to do, I have done. I have given my best. And believe you me, you have given your best. Okay? That way, if you keep on telling this to yourself, you know, after every two minutes, five minutes, slowly you will realize that your brain is actually getting calmed down. Okay? It happens you know, that uh, many a times you are trying to uh, unwind the wires, but kya hota hai? you actually you know tie knots into it. <laughs> but if you are relaxed, you may simply you know unwind the wire and you see not easily you are able to do that. So if your brain is relaxed, you can simply unwind all the entangled wires. And who can relax? Only you can relax yourself at this point of time. So just relax. Fine. If you think that you are not able to sleep, there might be one more reason that maybe, you know, mentally you are a bit tired, but not physically. So it's good that you may go for some exercising, light exercise, uh, you know, take a good walk in the park, right? You can play a game if you want to, like table tennis or say badminton. Don't stress too much, but these light activities so that your body also, you know, uh, tiredness and you can easily sleep. Fine. Next question that comes my way is, Sir, <laughs> I'm not feeling hungry. I don't feel like eating at all. Exactly. Asa hota hai. And some people in fact on the contrary say, sir I am only eating and eating what to do Abhi kya karna hai? okay now for both of you guys if you are not feeling hungry it is because your brain is absorbing the energy from your body and today you are having that energy in your body but believe you me tomorrow it will not have because the brain will suck all the energy right so if you don't feed your body Tomorrow in the exam, believe body will be saying something else and mind would be saying else. You need to bring them together. So what you should do? Don't go for your normal routine food. Take some fruits, take some juice, something that is different from the routine. Maybe you can order something from outside also. Right? So if you are a North Indian, try to have some South Indian thing. If you are a South Indian, try to have something North Indian the taste it will let you out if you are eating it means that your brain is sucking a lot of energy and your smoke maybe it root ok I have done this much so two ways first reward yourself nice food once you have achieved a task now the task is not that you have to study the task is that you are actually calming your brain telling yourself things are good you have passed 2-3 hours fine and you know you are actually building confidence inside yourself that yes, you have done whatever was supposed to be done. So, three hours have passed. Okay, fine. I'm first feeling hungry for the last three hours, but now I'll eat something which is very tasty. But different from my regular routine food. Okay. Avoid junk foods. Or the second way is you should also try some fresh juice or fruits. This will actually give you some positive energy, won't bloat you and I personally feel that, you know, if your body is being light and fresh, positive thoughts will automatically flow in, right? Some people are nervous because they feel that, sir, uh, it's called as the fear of missing out, that you are a part of a WhatsApp group in which all the friends of yours are discussing something. Now, while everyone is discussing, somebody says, oh, I missed out on this. And then you feel, oh, I also missed out on this. Or you want to check whether you missed out or you don't missed out. Don't try to be a part of such groups. I know it is compulsive. You want to check what the friends are talking about. Believe you me, it's only gossip. It's only gossip. Nobody is going to have even 0.1% of idea what is going to be asked in the exams exactly tomorrow. So, you are not missing out on anything. So, don't be a part of such WhatsApp group and group which, wherein, you know, some exam pundits are telling you this topic they can ask three questions, this topic they can ask two questions. You have already prepared. Okay. So, you need to be more stable. You need to be more uh, looking inside you that yes, 
you know, I am ready for the exam. I have done whatever I had to do and tell yourself that whatever you have done is very good. Don't tell that you have missed out certain things. Okay? Have a positive frame of mind. Last thing I would like to discuss is, you know, many students try to compare up. Oh, that friend of mine must have done everything. He must be revising on the last day also. And he'll surely secure a better All India rank. He'll be getting better marks than me. Don't do this comparison. Already, you know, somebody in your family might be comparing you with somebody else, which irritates you. And when you start irritating yourself by comparing yourself with somebody else, <laughs> again, you are actually trying to, you know, take that uh, recipe of disaster. And you know what happens? When you sleep, this nervousness, irritation starts growing in your mind subconsciously. Because you are, you are feeding that thing for the whole day. So while you are sleeping or maybe in your semi-sleep, it will only grow. It will show the impact in the examination hall. When suddenly either you will go blank or maybe you will, uh, you know, you won't read the question properly. The incorrect would be read as correct. Or maybe you are not calculating uh, properly. 5 divided by 6 is equal to 30. Or maybe you know you are not clicking the right option. You 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 have got the correct option as two, but while clicking uh, on the uh, option, you are clicking three, and you come out of the examination hall and you say, "Oh, I make silly mistake." See, silly mistake is not silly. It is it is a byproduct of all those things that I'm telling you, and these silly mistakes are going to help you lose your marks. So avoid these silly mistakes. And the preparation starts today, not today, right now. All you have to do is just relax. All you have to do is keep a positive mindset. Don't look at what others are doing, right? So I hope, dear friends, this session must have been a useful one for you. Just follow the points that I've told you. And all I'm saying is to relax. Okay, and believe you me, you will not lose any marks, you will not commit any silly mistakes and thereby you will be getting a very good All India rank in your exam. Best of luck to all you guys. Success is waiting.